you know, we're just about ready to have shore lunch and I'm doing some fishing and I'm not going after fish. When I used to live in Florida, I used to have a crab trap. Now look at what I've got here. You see what this is? This is a crayfish trap. So what I'm gonna do is place this down. Believe it or not, in Ontario, there is a limit on the number of crayfish you can have. Some guys will catch crayfish for a bait. And you know what? Some guys like me catch them for eating. And I'm gonna show you the way my dad taught me to clean these, okay? You're watching carefully. This isn't gonna be a pretty sight. The first thing you do, the first thing you do, this is the carapace, okay, or the thorax. I'm gonna be lifting that up, sliding my finger, look, underneath the shell. For him, it's gonna be pretty painless because I'm taking just off. Look, I'm taking that off. All of the insides, the stuff has come out, so he's pretty well clean. And I'm just gonna release that in the water because other crayfish are gonna eat it. Now, there is one main intestine that runs down that we wanna make sure we get out. So if you look at the tail, you open the tail up like that, you see that they've got these nice flaps. We're gonna take the center flap and we're gonna wiggle it a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, just to get it loose. And then we're gonna see if we can get that main intestine to pull out. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's the main intestine. You can see it right there. Looks like a worm. We're gonna release that. Now, believe it or not, that crayfish, now is not gonna pinch me anymore. He's ready to eat. So what we've got is the crayfish that are cleaned here and we're gonna put them in, uh, what, what is this, Martin, that we're going to put on top of them? It's the... This is just a mix. It's a Shore coating. lunch. Yeah, Perfect. Chris. Shore lunch mix, okay? So all I'm going to do is coat these babies. Remember, we got the shell on here. They've been washed in the lake, so they're organically cleaned. And we're going to... I'm trying not to make too big of a mess. We're going to go like that. And we're going to put them on here. Is that base flour? Because it's a little bit sticky. Yes, there is some flour in it. Okay, Martin, if you don't mind giving me a hand and dropping these babies in, just hold them by the claws and drop one in after the other in that, that uh, I'll call it a turbo fryer. Hey, I like that sizzling. Martin, you're doing great. Look at those babies cook. Can you smell them? Oh, yeah. There's sure. a little bit of a smell. It's almost like a seafood smell. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to let them cook until they get nice and red, because some of them are bigger. So I normally cook them for about three to five minutes because I want them nice and crunchy. Because remember, we're going to be eating all those little claws. I'm going to let you so. do the honors to take them out so that they drain a little bit. Oh, I'm getting hungry just looking at them. All right, come on over. Barb, Martin, you know, this is so nice that they do, I'll call it a community shore lunch, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursday here at Eagle Lake Island Lodge. Now look, don't these look beautiful? They've got a little bit of a red tinge. You know, we've coated them. So Martin, here's one for you to start off. Barbara, here, Yummy. got it. So what, what I suggest you do is, if you haven't had these before, Barb has, just crunch the back. You can see that the tail is there. That's got the most meat. How are they? Good. Delicious, okay. Mmm. Is that like seafood? Yeah, it is very good. Amazing, eh? It's the first time I've tried this, and it's they're very good. I think they're delicious. Okay, Martin, we'll get the, do we have walleye and pike for lunch? Yes, we do. And crayfish. Yep. This is perfect. Okay, let's go over there. 